Czy envy me or not to envy me? That is today's question. Good afternoon, morning, and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. Today's review sample is the E1000. I do have an E2000 and I've tested the E100. So now I've pretty much tested and or own every layer of Hikvision. And honestly, these drives are super, super good bang for buck. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Normal 5 and a quarter inch SSDs are massive upgrades over normal spinning discs. You're looking at like small file handling to the speed of what the spinning disc can do at its maximum. And let me explain to you why that this is the case. When data is written to and from a drive, it's got to do a couple of things to do that. It's got to open the write cycle, write the file, and then close that write cycle, as an example. When it reads, it does the same thing. Now, the thing is, solid state drives and spinning disks don't work in the same way at all. A spinning disk actually is a cyclical rotating disk, and then it has a little reading arm that floats like just, just above the surface of the disc and then reads data off of it. Spinning discs are good for size because you can get like an 8 TB or a 10 TB spinning disc, but they're not so good for speed because of that. And normal SATA SSDs have the same instruction sets that exist for those spinning discs, but because it's not a spinning disc itself, that's going to impact its performance or its maximum performance because of those instruction sets. NVMe throws all of that away and has basically created an entire new way of communicating with the flash memory. And that's where that all of that performance is coming from. And what does it translate to in a real world application? Well, like three times the speed, especially of smaller file handling. Most drives, as you can see from the benchmarks on your screen now with Crystal Disk, are going to hit their maximum speeds. And actually in this instance where the read was concerned, it goes over that. And the E2000 is a really good example of a quota drive speed reaching that maximum speed when it's putting through one large file. But all of the drives slow down when they have to do small file types because of those instruction sets that are on them. Now with an NVMe though, that, those slowdowns are way, way, way less than what you see on a 2.5 to the point that the, the NVMe's small file handling is like faster than the maximum speed that you'll see on a 2.5. So for this drive to cost 1,700 Rand and be a 1 TB thereof with all of that small file handling capability, it's kind of disgusting. Yes, you can get a 2.5 for a thousand bucks, but you're literally going to triple your speeds where you're doing things like loading games or something to that effect or your OS, etc. where it's loading lots of small files into RAM. This is going to speed it up significantly. It's not like before. It's kind of like the same gap, I would say, actually like going from a spinning disk to a 2.5 and then 2.5 to NVMe. It is that next big jump. Now, the thing is, where like even Gen 4s and stuff are concerned, the only time you actually get those big file transfer speeds is like I've shown you with the big files themselves. The small files, it actually becomes much of a muchness. Once you go NVMe and it's a decent NVMe and it has a proper 3D NAND and caching system that can actually, with a proper controller that can actually do that, then you see the speeds that you're getting over there. The difference between the E2000 and the E1000 is actually there, which is kind of nice to see. It's not just superfluous large file storage speed that you're getting over there. Now, while this package doesn't come with a heatsink, a lot of motherboards these days do, and especially if you're looking at NVMe and stuff, a lot of them do. You can buy some aftermarket heat sinks as well. And the nice thing about an aftermarket heat sink especially is it's a solid piece of metal. It's never going to break unless you physically damage it. You're going to be able to use that on any of your NVMe's in the future. I still think this for one TB is kind of disgusting in 1700. Well, it's, it's plain disgusting at 1700. Anywho. That is all I have for you in this review. If you have enjoyed it, please hit us up with a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the flip side.